Lynn Hart, at least try to do some training. Use a staff or a rod or a broom for all I care. My apologies, but I cannot train right now. I have plans for later and don't wish to tire myself. Caspar invited me to train with him, you see. You slept through the whole debate, didn't you? Fine, I'll summarize it for you. Not the whole debate. I closed my eyes only after I knew what reading would cover the topic. There you are. Don't tell me you were sneaking out to do some training. Of course not. I was sneaking out to avoid you. <sighs> How did you find me this time? A mere coincidence. Why would you wish to hide from me? Because you're an awful nuisance? Why do you pester me so? To ensure that your talent is not wasted due to your lack of... It's none of your business how I spend my time or how I use my talent. Have you assumed the role of my mother? You overplay the part. She was only half as overbearing. What? What is the matter with you? As house leader, I'm trying to prevent you from causing trouble for yourself and our classmates. Fine, I'll try harder. Really. I'm sure you see all this as my interfering with your duty as a leader. Have you considered how it feels for those of us who serve below you? You are a serious pain, you know. How so? You're like a mother who insists on accompanying her son to his own knighting ceremony. That's taking it a bit far, don't you think? No, I'd say that it's putting it lightly. All your interfering is greatly hindering my research. I see. Very well. You've made your perspective perfectly clear. Good morning! The weather is nice today. So, uh, it's, uh, really nice weather we're having, isn't it? Indeed. Did you want something? I just... Uh, I'm really sorry. I can't accept your apology until I know what it's for. Oh, good point. I'm sorry I said you were terrifying. Is that all? I'm used to that. No apology necessary. B but you've been avoiding me since then, right? You even stopped doing your deathly grin. I am merely trying not to frighten you. Is there something wrong with that? Um, it's not working. And yes, there is. You can't quit talking and laughing just to try to make me feel better. That's not really fair. I need to master my own fear. Is that right? Yes. R right. <laughs> You told me not to forego laughing, so I laughed as hard as I could. Is it helping to conquer your fear? Yes. I mean, someday it might... maybe... Ah, I'm not ready! Taking care of some weapon maintenance, Petra? You seem completely absorbed. Yes, taking care of the weapons has great importance. I cannot argue with that. That weapon there, is it from Bridget? No, it is a weapon of Dagda. But the people of Bridget use... I mean, used them often. Fascinating. I have read about the weapons of Dagda, but this is my first time seeing one in person. Lots of weapons and fighting techniques came from Dagda to Bridget. Ah. So Dagda to the West had a big influence on the Bridget Archipelago. I am fascinated by foreign fighting techniques. Would you consider teaching me sometime? I will. But it is difficult to explain fighting with words. We can try sparring, maybe? Yes, a practical demonstration. I would be quite grateful. Let's have our beginning, then. Perhaps we should stop there. Oh? Do you think you have understanding of the fighting techniques from Dagda? Yes. 
now that I have experienced it firsthand. <laughs> I used to look down on foreign fighting styles, but I was clearly remiss. The footwork, the nimble way you shift your weight is extraordinary. I will have to remember those moves for the next time I am in battle. Clearly, you have honed your skills through practice. Your fist felt as sharp as a spear. Bridget is stuck in between Dagda and Foglin. It is of much importance to hone our fighting techniques. I am of the royal family, but I am a warrior before that. I must fight to live and to protect my home. When the alliances of Bridget and Dagda encroached on the Empire, they were always driven back. But perhaps the Empire's victory was due to geographic advantage or divine intervention, rather than military superiority. Having met you, that is what I think. I cannot help but feel a little disgraced. I held foreign fighting styles in such low regard without ever seeing them for myself. When I came to Fodlin, I felt disgraced for many things that I learned. But there is no disgrace in losing ignorance. We need to be learning and growing with each other, always. Yes, by working together we can make progress. And both sides need to look ahead to the future. Hey Dorothea, something's been bothering me. I kind of feel like you act more casually around me than you do with other people. Casually? I don't know what you mean. I just feel like you're always asking me to do things that might make other people uncomfortable. Like when you ask me to clean your room. You're not very flirty toward me like you are with the other guys. You seem weirdly comfortable around me. You pay more attention than I would have thought. Hey, are you interested in me? You know, interested. Interested. What? Uh, no, I, um, it just seemed weird, and I was curious. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's true that I do find you quite a convenient little helper at times. It's like you're, how to put it, you're like a little brother to me. Ugh, really? That's not exactly a compliment. No, but it's true. And now that I've thought about it, I like the whole idea. Why don't you try calling me Big Sis and see how it feels? No, no, that's not gonna happen. Why not? I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Oh, come on. It's just a goof. You can manage it at least once, can't you? <laughs> Please? Oh, I know. If you do it, I'll stop using you for my chores. How's that sound? That's... an enticing offer. Fine. Once. <sighs> Big sis. <laughs> well done, Kaspar. You're such a cute little boy. I'm proud to have you as a sibling. I'm not cute, and I'm not little. How would you feel if I made you call me Big Bro? Oh? Well, I wouldn't mind that at all. Big Bro? something wrong, big bro? Oh, this is the worst. It is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit. It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? And yet, it feels familiar, as though pulled from a corner of my memory, from a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. Of the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. 
I've been here five. Ah, oh, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. Hey you, do me a favor. Of the four or five years... I have a favor to ask. It's not... It's not... It's not... It's not... It's not... Of the four... Hmm. Oh. Hmm. 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 Hello there. Professor. Professor, you seem unwell. How are you faring? If you're not feeling well, I'd strongly recommend some rest. Professor? What have you got there? That's... my goodness! That is just what I've been looking for! I can offer nothing more than this, but I do ask that you consider trading with me. I am in your debt, Professor. Professor! I've been watching your class activities, and I wondered if you might desire my help. Just say the word, and I'll pitch in. Of course, I have to be truthful. It's all just a ploy to make it easier to research your crest. Feel free to call on me anytime. I'll be happy to lend a hand. And then you can help out with my class, too. <laughs> it's a joke, Professor. I'd never put a burden on you, a first-year teacher. I thought we might make it through last month in peace. But no, another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests, why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. Professor, tell me, is this about Ramayar? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear. And the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? In that case, we should strengthen the guards. If you visit the village, Professor, please, take care. No, 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 no. Professor. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. I have something to ask of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Isn't that... 
Please, could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this in return. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Hello, Professor. I know that look in your eye. You want to ask me a favor. You want me to help out with your class, right? You just say the word, and I'll help however I can. Don't worry about it. You're just starting out as a teacher, right? It's only natural for those of us with more experience to help the younger generation. I know you figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. No, 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 no. Professor, did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. I guess that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs, after all. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? not where you met Edelgard. If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. How 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 I could use your help. the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? Uh, hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? I have a request. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey! It worked out perfectly! Wanna trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor! This is great! Hey... I don't know who this... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... Thanks, Professor. Well... <sighs> Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's assignment will again take you outside of Garrick Mach. To Ramire Village. It was in Ramayr that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. I appreciate this. I appreciate this. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option? Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance, as Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. Hello? Hello, Professor. What's that you've got there? Would you mind trading it with me for this? Oh, thank you so much! I'll be sure to take great care of it. Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you... Did you oh, goodness! Is something the matter, Professor? You look a little pale. Please be careful. It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. too much of a bother would you trade it for this thank you so much i'll treasure it forever good day Papa. what's this what's this? what's this? what's this? what's this? what's this? What in the world is happening in Ramire Village? 
I hear even the knights have been dispatched. I hope it's nothing too serious. After all, that's where we first met. I have valued memories of the place. Hmm, that's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. I fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? That would be me if you weren't my teacher. Locked away in my room, reading, napping, never to be seen. You brought it, Professor? Hand it over and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me, I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Her? <sighs> what a letdown. You made the right choice. Here's your reward. I'll let you borrow it later, Catherine, if you quit sulking. Thanks. It's not my. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's. It's. During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. May the Goddess protect all of you. Need something? This one? You're all set. See you again soon. of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. This is... 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 This is Professor, how are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Just my natural talent, nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Hmm. 
I don't rec- Hmm. 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 What? Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Hey, it's not like I'm bothering her. Sorry for the ruckus, Professor. Please don't worry about it too much. Nothing to worry about here. Uh, I wish you would worry about it a little more. Need something, Professor? Unfort, 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 unfort. This... this is my first time working with THE Gerald, the legend known across the ages as the Blade Breaker. And I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest. say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? Your character must be stronger than most. They say that things are rare. A lost, a lost, a lost, a lost, a lost, a lost, a lost. How did? Investigating Ramire Village. Be on your guard. Hey, when news reached us of the disturbance, ours was the first unit dispatched to Ramire. 
we had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumors suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. Perhaps. Professor, hey, Professor, can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best, but now I can't even stand looking at them. But worrying about it won't solve my problems. What if I can never eat fish again? That is that 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 uh, I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. I didn't catch a single fish last month, but this month, oh, this month. <laughs> That's exactly what Captain Gerald said. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramire Village soon, aren't you? It feels like so long ago that you two came here. I'm worried about Remire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Then what could it be? Professor, nothing to report. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. Maybe. Welcome. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. This one? This one? Thank you. 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 This one? This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. Please come again. there. This one, yes? I think this one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. A ple you have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. Come again. Welcome. Please come again. Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? 
I think. Return soon, please. Congratulations on winning the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Did you get a special reward? I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? <sighs> I was afraid you might say that. I do wish you'd dote on me just a bit more. I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. village is an empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Ramire village that Alois found you. Professor, I heard about Ramire village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Garrick Mock should be on the lookout as well. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor, even if they're not exactly based on anything. What? 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 Hey, uh. of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, I mean very. Very, very, very long ago. Hmm. Hmm. always out and about these days. And just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He better come back soon. Sir, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? 
Oh, come on, let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. Ah, Professor! Geralt just told me. Remire Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? Were you not feeling okay? You seem fine to me. I hope you're not just saying that. We can't have you putting on a brave face, only to fall in battle. Professor! Meyer Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Um, um, oh, that, um, 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 um.
While I have little interest in food, I will admit to a weakness for this one dish. I would be liking that greatly. Delicious! After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. You're eating too slow, Professor. You just gotta stick all of it in your mouth. When I think of the past, it makes me grateful for things like having a nice, relaxing meal. I'd rather eat alone in my room, but since that's apparently not allowed... Okay. This looks delicious. Let's eat. I don't like being hit on during a meal. So it's nice to be with you. <laughs> This is a wonderful dish. You could sell this in any restaurant in the capital. This is so good. Can I have seconds? I like seeing a table full of my favorite dishes. I'm happy to eat alone, but all right. I love to cook. What are we making today? That's so. I have a lot of experience in the kitchen. I can make just about anything. Wow. It was in Remire that you... Practice yields results.
I'm improving. I'm improving. Never under it. I never. That I'll get. Closing in on expertise. You have my thank. This could. This could be. This could. Hi, Professor. The students seem to like you. <laughs> and you're not modest about it. I like that. Still, I can't deny that you've got skills. It's a little strange, to be completely honest. I had my doubts, but they were right to make you a professor. I'd be suspicious of their true intentions, if I were you. But what's it matter? Seems like it turned out just fine for you. I'll admit, it's unbelievable that you used to be a mercenary. I was a merc before coming here, but... I can't imagine pulling off your fancy tactician act. I freeze up near royals and nobles. You deal with a lot of nobles when you're a merc. I didn't mind putting my life on the line, but I never liked having to bow and scrape to our noble employers. And that's what I like about being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. <laughs> I'm joking. But the knights do make a good business partner. I don't believe in the Church of Seros. It makes me a bit of an anomaly among the knights. Rhea took me in, so I became a knight to repay my debt to her. I may be a knight, but it still feels like I'm doing the same things I did as a merc. Who knows, though? Maybe you and I will end up working together again, like a Deirdre. Us knights are a pretty tough crew. I'm guessing you'd run circles around us, though. I'm interested to see where your path leads you. It is done. I will master this. One step before the next step. I can do better now. It all makes sense now. I think I get it now.
Oh yeah! Nailed it! Well, I'm glad I passed.